Hello friends and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, it is Monday. It's a pretty, we're starting to get into warm weather uh, again. So it's starting to feel very much like uh, summer here. It's in the lower 90s and we're actually almost supposed to flirt with uh, 100 degrees tomorrow. So um, probably not gonna be doing a whole lot of real exerting stuff. Uh, and it turns out I've got some just kind of around the house chores that I need to do today. I need to do some laundry, you know, cause you gotta do that from time to time when you're, uh, when you're working so that's been part of the task for today um, I also needed to uh, go print out some of the documents as I told you I think in yesterday's vlog I finally got my tax situation all resolved and uh, you know the the tax preparer sent me a bunch of PDFs of all of my tax documents and I like to have a hard copy of all that stuff so I have to I had to go down today and print all that stuff out because I still don't have a printer and I'm not really messing around a whole lot with that right now but like I said I went like having a hard copy of that so I can file that away so we had to go out and get all that printed there was holy cow you know usually when I when I do my taxes in the past uh, you know it's uh, two or three pages for federal and about eight pages for the state and then we're done there were like 43 pages of uh, documents. These guys really kind of earned their money. So I'm really hoping that that really kind of means that they know what they're doing and, and got me some good tax breaks and I'm not gonna get some surprise uh, later on. I, had, I do have to know what happens now if I get audited. I have heard rumors that California gets a little vindictive if you leave the state and they almost automatically audit you every time you know just to you know make sure hey you know we're getting back at you for leaving us or whatever so you know i gotta know if the uh tax preparer if the company deals with that uh you know should that occur or what um also um as i told you also a couple days ago i had to transfer some money from my house fund saving account into my checking account to pay for my taxes and that was going to take a couple days well that money showed up today and so I absolutely have the tax situation done now. The I was able to wire all the money to them uh, directly so I didn't have to do any checks, do any of that. It's just all nice and simple on the internet. So hopefully that's done now and that, you know, I now know exactly how much money I have in my house fund. So uh, I, as I also mentioned, I had to contact my realtor. Uh, the one in California, Kareen Wrightson, who did very, very well for me, and I did that today. And she got back to me and said, oh, this is really exciting. Yeah, I'm looking forward to, you know, helping you with this. And she said she was going to research the issue and um, figure out what wh who she can recommend uh, that kind of has experience in the area that I'm looking to purchase in. So things are moving forward. Um, and I really can't complain at this point. So anyway, um, I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time kind of walking around here and enjoying the outside because I like doing that. And uh, that's what we're doing today. This is down at the Carlene Bright Arboretum. You know, I've been there a few times and I figured this was just gonna be another one of those looking at the camera, talking to you guys, letting you know about what's going on. So I wanted to create a little bit better of uh, a background here, even though there's all sorts of bugs buzzing around my head right now.
gonna kind of walk around here slowly because as I was walking up on here I came up on a snake and it got into the bushes before I could see it so I want to see if I can find it again this one wasn't a baby either this one was probably three or four feet long I think it was probably a garter snake or something it had a beautiful green stripe down its back I'm sure he's hiding right now. I was just kind of walking down that road in this direction here and right as I came around the corner over there, right over there, he was like right here and he scattered into the bushes here. He's fast, so I don't know, he could be anywhere by now. I don't know if anyone can see this, but I am uh, actually experiencing fireflies for the first time here in Texas. So that's kind of exciting. Let's see if I can find one specifically. There's one right there. I don't know if you saw that. Buzzing around now. I think he's aware of me. Yeah, fireflies. That's kind of cool. I actually just caught one. He just landed right in my hand here. Let's see if we can get him to light up for us here. Or if he's just gonna fly off. It's funny, I just saw him buzzing around in the air. I just put my hand up and he landed right on my hand. There he goes. So I think that's all that I have for tonight. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.